This is a test to make sure that you can hear me. Because what you're about to see is mac and cheese fucking stream, dude. I haven't made a video in maybe like seven years. So sorry, I, I, it's been a while. Seven different brands, seven powerhouses, seven colossuses, colossi in the mac and cheese world are gonna go up against each other today. I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna fight each other today in my stream. Let's get a palate cleanse to start because we need a base level. You don't see anything up here yet, but that's fine. I should brush my fucking hair. You know funny? I actually don't even eat that much mac and cheese anymore. I think like seven or eight months ago when I brought this up, I was like, oh yeah, I'll do a mac and cheese review stream, a review watch party. I stopped, I like changed my whole diet. My whole like life has been, my lifestyle's changed. I don't even eat this shit anymore. I don't know what each one of these is. I know what I bought and I know what cartons are, uh, exist and you'll be able to see on the screen too. But I don't want to know exactly which one is what because I don't want to go in with bias. I'm going to show each one of these and I'll say which one it is so you can kind of have a corresponding mac and cheese to box. But again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to go in a row. I'm going to be able to, I'm going to arrange them too. You'll see. You'll get it. You'll These are all perfect temperature, perfectly cooked to al dente. Interesting. This one's really light. I feel like I know what this one is. Because I think this, this one was cheating. Because I got cheddar for every single one of these. But the problem is... <laughs> Trader Joe's was sold out. But this is pretty fucking good. They weren't sold out of this one, but I don't think they... Did Trader Joe's ever carry a, a cheddar mac and cheese, or am I crazy? Uh, this is definitely Trader Joe's, and it's, 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 it's up there. Super light. It's that white cheddar. Uh, I think I am crazy, through. by the way. It's very good. I don't know where to place it, though. I'm going to say that's like a high B. I don't know where it goes next to everything else. There we go. What's this one? It's really thick. <laughs> it's really thick. It's, um, I would say it's good. But I don't know. I think I know what this one is too. I think it's passable. I think it's like good enough. I, I, w I wouldn't say I would order this. I would get this like for dinner. But if you handed this to me and you said, hey, dude, I got some mac and cheese for you. I'd be like, yeah, this is fine. There's, uh, the the flavor is not really there for me. It's a little, a little lacking on flavor. But it's definitely Velveeta, and it's definitely a C. So I'm going to say C. This, is, this one's better, even though it doesn't count, because it's white cheddar. I know, I'm a fucking idiot. This is three. Some of you might know what that one is. I think I do too, but mm, might not be so sure. You know, before I eat this, I think that we should probably just get a, an opinion from somebody else. Not about this. Uh, not about this, but about something else. So uh, let, me, let me leave no further ado here for a special guest review from Stir for the Trader Joe's Tikka Masala. Take it away, Stir. Yo, what is going on everybody? Stir here with yet another ultimate banger of a food review coming in you with a cult classic. Everybody has been telling me to try this. I'm so excited for it, but actually it was so exclusive so hard to get my hands on that only just recently did I find out that you can only get this at Trader Joe's. Who would have known who was going to be able to find such a gem like this? And of course, I'm talking about the chicken. Fuck! Fuck! And at the other side, you can of course see that it says keep frozen. This is a frozen dish. 
and I fully intend to keep it frozen. I looked inside and it's kind of disgusting looking and I really have absolutely no desire to try this whatsoever. But I don't want to leave you with no food review. Of course, we're going to do a food review. Uh, I've got my potion set, my alchemy lab, my potions. I've got my potions. I'm going to show you my potions. These potent little brews are sure to please. And of course we have the classic as well. The succulent, ever common health potion. Greater, of course. But we, we all know of its tastes. I need not review this, this for you. you. Maybe we pop open this black bio venom from a 12 legged arachnid. No, <laughs> we save that for another day. Please subscribe. Today, you may not have heard of very unique in texture. Take a gander at this, you gummies! Awesome, thank you, Stir. I'm glad he liked it. Of course he did. It's the Trader Joe's Tikka Masala. Thank you, Stir. Appreciate the review. All right, so here we go. This is number three. <laughs> that fucking video. <laughs> I like this one a lot for a, couple, a lot of different reasons, and I don't know if it's craft or not. Because I do, there's another one here that looks... Mm -mm. This one's also pretty light. Is craft this light? I like this one a lot. If this is craft, I'm gonna fucking be pissed. Because it's like I've been lying to myself for a decade. Very good. I'd say this is A, at least. Texturally, this one's the best by far. I actually don't hate that, the more that I think about it. I'm gonna have to go back and forth a little bit. Let's go, here we go, this is number four. This one's really good. You get that deep, like right here, that cheddar flavor. It's got a great texture. This is damn good. I would say this is like, for the best one. I like these two for different reasons, but I would say this is S. The cheese sticks to the noodles. One thing I really don't like is when you make a mac and cheese and the cheese kind of falls off. It kind of doesn't stick. Hey, how about another special guest review? The chicken tikka masala. Requested from Germa. Rice, chicken, sauce. Here we go. This is busting. This owns. This is really good. I've eaten almost this whole thing since that video played. This is definitely the best one. It just it tastes like cheese. It tastes like cheese. There's a cheese. A lot of times you eat a mac and cheese and it just kind of tastes like somebody put cheesy kind of, oh yeah, it's like cheese flavoring. That tastes like cheese. Mm. Very similar, number five. I don't know what that Incredibly was. Incredibly similar to the last one, <laughs> which is this is gonna be tough. Got a good jiggle on it. Oh no, it's a, it's a rhinoceros. That's the sound it was. Okay. I know what it is. This one reminds me of this one. Of two. I would say this is the elbow macaroni version of two. But it's, it's, it's a little less thick. That one is way better than this one. I hope this is not Cracker Barrel. Because if this is Cracker Barrel, then oh boy, did I, what was, oh, oh boy, oh boy, did I fuck up. Because if that's, if that is craft, oh boy, that's going to be, I'm not, I'm going to live that one down. Who cares? If it's good, it's good. I think this is the craft, though. I think this is the craft deluxe. Someone said this was edited in the movies. <laughs> it's, I think it's better than the Velveeta, because that's definitely hey. what that is. Because this Velveeta has a very specific taste. Velveeta tastes like Velveeta. 
it's not even, oh yeah, that it's, it's, it tastes like a cheddar cheese or, or Swiss or provolone. No, Velveeta is, is Velveeta, that's the flavor. You know what it is when you taste it. It's that. Do you want a uh, special guest review? How's it going guys? Reviewing the chicken tikka masala from Trader Joe's today. I decided to do it in the oven because I thought it'd taste better. So let's give it a bite. Wow, that's great flavor. No, it's an eight and a half out of 10, that's great. That's great. Mm. Craft, definitely. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yep, this is absolutely craft. Because it's cheesy, greasy, brownie. I'll edit that part up. Craft macaroni and cheese just—it's—it it's, just tastes like cooked macaroni. Does it? I don't. Does it? Doesn't taste like cheese. That was my, always my problem with it. I would eat this whole box if you gave it to me. I think it's better than this. Wait, hold on. Because this is either Cracker Barrel or the other Craft Deluxe. So let's see. Yeah, it's, it's, it's all right. So I would say about the, that. the deluxe is better because that's what that is. That's absolutely the Cheetos bag. It has to be. There's no way it's not. Number seven. I actually might have to move a couple of these though. I already know this one sucks and I already know I'm going to give it an F. And I don't even, honestly, I don't even know why, I don't know why it's on this, this list. I don't. We got a, uh, one of those special guest reviews. I'll get out of the way. Hey, so uh, this stuff is really good, but since the last time I got it, it just feels like there's less of it than there used to be. Like something's missing and it's delicious, but I don't know, the portions just feel... Um... Well, it's gonna be an F. I'm not even kidding. It's not an F. I mean, it sucks. <laughs> it's not an F. Okay, you know when you're done with the Cheetos bag, you finished it, and you got that. You pop, you pop it open, and you smell in the bag. Oh boy! This tastes like you smelled in the bag, right at the last when you finished. It, t it smells like the inside of, it, it tastes like it smells like the inside of a Cheetos bag. I could definitely see somebody eating this for a birthday party. Not, not as a 38-year-old man right now. And I know, like, whatever. Who fucking cares, dude, if you like your Cheetos, mac and cheese? No, I don't care either. But I'm not making this for dinner every Thursday. This is not happening. This is for a birthday party. Can we have a special guest treat review? Welcome back everybody for another segment of Ital Eats. Today I'm bringing you the chicken tikka masala from Trader Joe's, which of course is authentic Indian recipe as it says right here. We got the plate. Let's go ahead and dig in and see what we're dealing with today. What is your assessment? Come on, come on, tell us. What did you like? It's definitely cheesier than I thought it was going to be after looking at the box. Like it says, roasted chicken. Nine out of ten. I would say this is my, it looks, it's flipped. I'll flip the video. So this is what I'm looking at here. I believe, and I'm probably going to get this right. And in, in the post video, I will add some things because I, I obviously don't really know 100% right now. But I'm going to say this is the best one. I would give that an S. This is second best. I'd give this one an A. This is third best. Although if you want to not count it, if you don't want to count it, that's fine because that's, it's Trader Joe's white cheddar. 
So let's say you didn't count that. Then here is the rest of it. Okay, that is definitely craft deluxe. This is um, craft regular. This is the Cheetos inside of the bag smell taste one. And this is Velveeta. This is important. I need to find out which one of these is the worst. So, but if, if it wasn't, right, let, let's just say that if you allowed this, this would be the third one. This would be number three. So, but if you don't allow that, and you just want straight just cheddar, this is cheese cheddar flavor, like some of the more popular ones, I gotta figure out if this one's worse than this one. I don't really love the Velveeta taste. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if that's, but is that worse than the fucking birthday party one? Can you imagine sitting around with, at like the birthday party where it's like, oh, pizza, ice cream. Cheetos mac and cheese. Wow. Everybody, the whole table would start screaming. It would, the decibel level of that room would go up to like seven. It'd be like a jet engine in that room. If it's a birthday party, this is up here. If it's not a birthday party, it's worse than Velveeta. I just don't want it. That's, I don't want the Cheetos flavor at dinner. I don't want to eat like a bag of Cheetos with a fucking steak. It's like, oh yeah, mashed potatoes, chicken, Cheetos. It's like, oh, I almost just did it. You almost got it out of me. You almost got it. It's light. Wait a second. Wait a second. No, my whole my, this is craft. This one's craft, I think. Wait, no, it's not. What the fuck's going on? Shit, I actually don't know. This one's lighter. This is craft. This one's lighter. This one's like, no, no, this one's got more cheese flavor. Annie's has way more cheese flavor. This, I like this one better, but it changed on me. No, I, all right, now you're gonna get the real me. You're gonna get the without anything in my mouth. After this other special guest review because I actually don't know how many uh, that actually were sent to me. I asked a few, I asked quite a few people and um, we'll see how many I got. Hey, how's it going guys? Here reviewing the chicken tikka masala from Trader Joe's. It was the frozen one. I did it in the oven cause I thought it would taste better. Here's how it looks. So not as big of uh, chunks of meat as the box, but I'm gonna give it a bite and see how it is. That's amazing. 8.5 out of 10, that's great. This is my quintessential <laughs> popular mac and cheese review stream. Best, very good, better, good birthday party. Any questions? All right, so from now going forward. And now I'd like to take this opportunity to uh, harmonize singing with me. Oh, hold on. Sitting right there. Jeremiah? Yep. All right, this next part is um and let's be is, double. I now I know. Now I know the They're the They're all good. You'll see. They all, it's mac and cheese is mac and cheese. You can't really go wrong. It's not like, "Oh my god, this one these ones are disgusting and these ones are delicious." These you just have a preference. I have a preference towards Craft Deluxe, Annie's, and Cracker Barrel. This one seriously is so good though. Like the, and the other, what, the other flavors are really good too. I swear to God, this one's really good. There you have it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, bye. There you have it. Uh, there, there is the mac and cheese quintessential i i'll tell you I, i'm i'm very very upset there uh, you want to see there okay well the, the the webcam doesn't work apparently so just pretend it does um <laughs> i assure you that's what i look like right now i'm sitting in the chair i know i look very angry um okay so let's go over a couple things i was shocked <laughs> Uh, I feel like I'm reviewing my own video. Okay, listen. I had genuine shock on my face 
when I realized that the Craft Deluxe was better than the than all of them. It was shocking to me. I couldn't believe it because uh, to me, honestly, Cracker Barrel to me was always S tier, and it still is in principle. And he's uh, if, okay. If if I wanted to retroactively go back and change that score, I would change maybe Annie's to S, but I have a preference to the elbow macaroni. I didn't say it. I didn't say it in the in the video. But <laughs> is that the thumbnail? <laughs> <laughs> the thumbnail is one of the two Ludwig videos. Oh. <laughs> like, what am I watching here? Uh, thanks to everyone that sent me a video. Uh, thank you if you're watching this right now. You didn't have to do that. Um, I appreciate it. I thought it was fun to see how many of you actually would eat the tikka masala and, of course, Stir. Stir just sent me that. Uh, and remember, keep in mind, I'm going to tell you the direction that I gave to everybody. This is the direction I gave to Stir. <clears throat> hey, Stir, uh, could you record like a 20-second video of you tasting and scoring the tikka masala from Trader Joe's? And then he said no. He said, I don't think I can do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. And I'm like, all right, well, you're going to do it? And he's like, no, nah, dude, I can't. I can't do it. And he's like, you know, maybe I'll send you something really quick. And I'm like, okay, like he's, uh, th by the way, this is last night. This was yesterday. <laughs> he still didn't send me a video. And he's like, all right, maybe I'll give you, maybe I'll give you like a five second thing. I wake up this morning before rendering this and there is a full, like completed uh, video in my, uh, in my messages. And I'm like, holy shit. He went all in on this and he didn't even eat it. He didn't even eat it. It just it set the tone. It was perfect. It was perfect placement. So just to, just so you know, the stir video would not have been in that corner if I had done this stream last week. And I'll tell you, a bad mac and cheese video is bad forever. A delayed mac and cheese video is delicious. Now, I had a lot of fun making it. It was actually really fun. That's kind of what I, the, the, the point of, of doing this was... Not that, that, that in, in the beginning I made it I very clearly. I, that's the first time I've really made a video in a very long time. I took away kind of the the stuff that kind of quote needs to be there. Like, oh, it has to be this way. It has to be this. I have to do the. No, I just was like, you know what? I'm going to record this and I'm just going to make a fucking stupid ass video. And just that's it. And then just have fun with it. That's kind of what I was talking about. Six months ago when I was talking about do stuff for fun, not because it has to be a certain way or has to act a certain way. It was just fun to make that video. What about the dog food tier list? I'll give you a little bit of insight. Do you remember when I said, hey, everybody, it's time for a special treat review. Weird, you know, right after that, that italics shows up. Um, originally, that was going to be Otto's treat tier list was going to be there. But... A couple things happened when I was going to do it. Um, I think it was going to be too long. And I, I figured if I was going to do that, I would just do it as its own thing and just put it on a stream randomly. Like when we're just hanging out. Oh, like here's like a seven and a half minute auto tier list stream. It's actually really funny because I actually, t I, I, if, if you, I'm sure you'd be able to watch the VOD and go back and see the video. When I say, oh, okay, give us your assessment. I say auto, but I turned the volume down. So it, I don't say, hey, Otto, and like italics is right there. <laughs> it's like, oh, give us your assessment, Otto. But I had already pre-recorded all of that, right? So I, got, I was like, oh, shit, I'm not doing the Otto one. But I don't, I don't really want to go set everything up and like go back over there. No, so we're just going to delete everything that references any Otto. And just someone's going to be there, whoever it is. I also love the second Ludwig take. It just it makes me laugh every single time. It's just so perfect. <laughs> I love getting the two takes. <laughs> I even asked him, I was like, hey, dude, are you cool with me like putting both these takes in? He's like, yeah, dude, let's go. <laughs> like, yeah, let's do it. 